Pilsners and baseball. Two things that I'm not huge fans of. I mean, baseball's kind of slow and, and boring in my opinion, and Pilsners just have that weird, bittery, sour, doughy sort of note to them sometimes. But hey, I'm always up for either one because even if you don't like something, you might as well just, just try it out and see if you'll one day enjoy it. Let's do this, guys. Beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, from the Rusk Brewski Review. And today, the beer I have for you guys is here by Sons of Kent. This is Fergie's, Fer Fergie's, yep, Fergie's Classic Pilsner. Boom. There you go. White can, so a little bit reflective on the uh, from the ring light, but hey, not too too bad. <clears throat> Sons of Kent, Fergie's Classic Pilsner, 4.9% ABV. Any IBUs on this glossy white, blue, and red can? Mm, no. No, no, no. Nothing here. But on the website, on the other hand, we do have IBUs. 26 to be exact. 26 IBUs, 4.9%. Classic Pilsner. Let's jump into it. Let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. Again, Soda City Pint Glass because, hey, it's the glass where I'm using today. Boom, there we go. <clears throat> Some pilsers are nice. Some, most, for me, aren't my favorite thing, but hey, we will still like to try them. Looking at the beer itself, very pale and pale yellow color. Very slight, slight haze to it. Not super clear, but definitely on the clearer side. Nice wet, white, wet, wet head on top. White head on top. Let's have a smell. Corny, caramelly, slight bready, very, very, you know, basic aromas coming off from a lager styled uh, beer. But yeah, yeah, bready, corny, slight biscuit, a little bit of caramel. It's sweet, it's a sweet aroma. Let's have a sip. Okay, bready, biscuity, like light, light, light sweet biscuit, a little bit of caramel, pretty much it. Um, I'm not getting that soury, uh, like bitter, sourdoughy sort of note, sharpness note that usually cuts in almost two thirds away through the, uh, uh, going on into the sip so far, but that was only one sip. We need more to really test this out, but so far, so good. I'm enjoying it. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yeah. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting that, 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 that typical Pilsner-y sharpness that I get right in that, right in that, um, the third of the way through the sip sort of, uh, sort of flavor, which I'm actually pretty happy about. To be honest, very happy about that. Very nice that it's not in there, so I can I can you know enjoy it a bit more. But hey, if if you if you're a big fan of that sort of blip in, in the uh, flavor profile, then you, you might miss out on something. But still, so far so good. Very basic, clean, crisp, nicely effervescent, light bodied. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy, nothing out, like just outlandishly out there. Nothing that really sparks my, uh, <clears throat> my interest or, or, or just like, um, I guess gets me super excited. It's a, it's an average solid beer. Nothing crazy. Good flavor overall. Light, bready, slight caramel, a little bit of biscuity sweetness. But nothing that knocks your socks off. It's just straightforward, straightforward beer. Yeah, straightforward. Very simple. Fergie's Classic Pilsner, Sons of Kent, by Sons of Kent, sorry. 4.9% ABV, 26 IBUs. And Sons of Kent is from uh, Chatham, Chatham, Ontario. There we go. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Looking for a description. Here we go. Chatham Kent hometown hero Fergie Jenkins pitched in over 600 games and threw uh, 3,192 strikeouts in the majors. He's a big deal, so we're stoked to, uh, to collaborate with him on this classic Pilsner 
to raise funds for our community children's treatment center. Good cause, I like that. Brewed with a healthy dose of Saz hops, Fergie's Pilsner has a crisp delivery, just like his slider hitting a catcher's mitt. Nice, nice. That's one thing I do always like to see is is, is is when a brewery makes a beer and you know has a good sort of like charitable thing going on. Uh, so so that's always a nice little bonus points uh, for sure. Because you know it, it's always fun just to help people out. Uh, you got some other I guess uh, notes um, about uh, about Fergie uh, shutouts. 3,192 ERA, I have no idea what that means, uh, 3.34, anybody that knows, let me know down in the description box, C sorry, comment box below, and wins out of his over 600 games, 284, cool, cool, I know nothing really about baseball, except you hit a ball and you run bases, and home runs are amazing, grand slams, even better, uh, by ingredients, water, barley, hops, and yeast, <clears throat> on the bottom for a packaged on date uh the 5th of november 2019 so fairly fresh it's a little it's a little over a month old but not not too too bad i mean it's fine yeah solid pilsnery beer now i'm getting sort of that little sharpness uh a bitter sourdoughiness. Uh, it's not as intense compared to some other pilsners, but still, it's there. It's, it's not a big problem. Though. It's, it's not messing up the beer for me. <clears throat> but yeah, very straightforward. Yeah, not bad. Website sonsofkent.com. You go to the uh, website, you hit the beer section, you scroll down a bit, and you do find Fergie's Classic Porter. Uh, it does have the same description as the can here uh just listing extra the 26 ibus scroll down a bit more you have a couple pictures of uh the beer fergie and i guess a couple of the brew brewers or, uh, no, or staff of sons of kent as well pictures are blurry which is kind of annoying you'd think they'd uh you know fix that but hey hey what can you do overall solid looking website information is pretty basic pretty standard so nothing super exciting there, but the website does look quite nice. Moving over to Untapped, Fergie's Classic Pilsner has been given a 3.59 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of just over 7, uh, sorry, 700, 570 ratings, so very, very nice indeed. 3.59 seems like a solid middle of the road sort of scored in my opinion. And finally, moving over to Untapped, if you are interested in picking up a can of uh, Sons of Kent's Fergie's Classic Pilsner for this 473 ml Tallboy can, it can be yours for $3.25. Boom. Overall, it's a Pilsner that I can definitely get behind and can enjoy. Is it blowing my socks off or blowing my mind in, 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 in any aspect? Not really. But it's well done. Can't, can't, can't complain. It's a solid pilsner. Choosing the final step, guys. Let's get ready to range and wrap this thing up. Sons of Kent, Fergie's classic pilsner. It's a good beer. It's got a, uh, why am I blanking right now? It's got a little bit of caramel, breadiness, some sweet um, some sweet biscuity notes as well. Doesn't have that, that awkward sourdoughy sharpness, bitter notes that most Pilsners do, at least what I, what I, how I perceive them. Um, but it's, not, it's nothing that's gonna, you know, be a big game changer. But overall, it's a solid beer. Can't go wrong with it. But you know, it, it for me, 325 for this it seems a little little pricey but then again i guess it is for a good cause so i can definitely get behind that overall fergie's classic poster deserves a solid solid seven out of ten for me as for presentation i do like the can design glossy white picture of fergie right there some stats about him good description good ingredients you got abv you're missing ibus but not the end of the world on the bottom clearly labeled canned on date Website looks great. Basic information, same description. ABV, IBU, good to go. Nice big picture of that. Uh, what kind of bugs me is that the pictures of Fergie and you know the, the other staff members are blurry. 
and there's no way to click them and then get a bigger picture. They're just blurry, so kind of a, I don't know, that just seems a little, uh, a little rushed to me, a little, uh, I don't know, kind of a bummer on that end, but hey, what can you do? You're not in charge. It's the web, it's the web guys. It's the web designers, uh, uh, the thing to, thing to figure out and, and, and fix. So overall, presentation gets a solid, got good information, gets a solid 7.5 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all the information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maperushki, I'd greatly appreciate it as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maperushki, like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. The reason why I don't care about baseball is because the Blue Jays are really sucking. They kind of really suck. I don't, I don't even follow them that much, but all I hear is they kind of suck. Cheers.